Building a Modern Prairie Sconce, Part 1, at RandallPrice.com. The sconce was built from off-the-shelf red oak purchased at the home center. The first task in building the sconce is to cut the wood used for the main frame to the correct width and thickness. Whenever possible, I like using gauge blocks for doing equipment setup as they give very good accuracy and consistency. There's a tool review and video of the Veritas gauge blocks at RandallPrice.com. After adjusting the fence, I cut the sconce frame pieces to width. Next, I mill the frame pieces to the proper thickness, first using a planer and then finishing off with a thickness sander. After each pass, I check the frame pieces against the gauge block to make sure they're at the right thickness. Once the frame pieces are cut to the correct width and thickness, I cut the miters on each piece using a 45 degree sled at the table saw. I do this by cutting the 45 degree angle at one end of each piece, and then I use a stop block to cut the angle at the other end of the piece to assure consistent length. I cut the two side pieces together using the stop block and then I readjust and cut the top and bottom pieces. You can get a SketchUp drawing of this table saw sled on the free downloads page at RandallPrice.com. Here's the main frame of the sconce taped together. The sconce has a shelf at the bottom. I cut it to length on a crosscut sled at the table saw. The shelf is square so to square it up, I use the length that I just cut to set a stop block on the crosscut sled. Then I rotate the piece 90 degrees and cut it to width, which gives a perfect square. The shelf is held in the sconce frame by two dados. Here's the technique that I use to get good tight fitting dados. I set the piece to be cut on the cross cut sled on the table saw. Then I set the piece that will fit into the dado next to the piece that will be cut and then put a stop block against that. Then I make the first cut for the dado. Next I remove the piece that will fit into the dado and replace it with a piece that is the exact width of my table saw blade in this case, I used a 1 8 inch gauge block with a few pieces of tape placed on the surface. Then I make a cut and then just nibble out in between these first two cuts to make the dado. And as you see here, I get a very good tight fitting dado right from the table saw without any further trimming. I use the same technique to cut the remainder of the dados that I need for the sconce. So at the end of day one, Here's what I finished on the sconce so far. For woodworking plans, tips, and resources, visit RandallPrice.com.